Hey guys, welcome. I got my glove on. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen today getting prepared for Zamunda. We're gonna watch. We're gonna have a movie night here and I invited my family over and we're gonna watch um, Coming to America. So right now what I'm gonna do is just prepare, my husband is down there preparing a the grill and I'm up here getting the meat ready so we can put on the grill. And it's too early for me to drink wine. And so I am going to make a chai tea latte, which I make them really good and I don't have to pay $5 at Starbucks anymore. So I'm going to make that first and then we'll get to seasoning our meat and getting it ready. We're not doing anything special. I'll make some potato salad and probably some um, green beans or something to go with it. But um, stick around and then I'm going to show you my outfit because I told everybody to come in their princely robes or royal attire so i'm i got a little african outfit that i'm gonna put on so stick around we're gonna just have fun today we're just kind of laid back getting ready for family time for movie night which i love spending time with my family we don't get to go out much so i feel like <laughs> this is the party house everybody can come over here because it's enough I guess it's enough space so we can kind of social distance from each other but stick around let's see how I prepare for Zamunda making my chai tea latte that's what we're gonna do first to get it started um, sometimes I had I like to use the I want to say it's it's Irish cream Coffee, but they're out so I have the um, vanilla which is still good and I just put it on this thing here and let it the milk foam up in here and get the little latte my water is boiled already let's make sure I put enough milk in there I can't see holding it but I'm getting a late start. I should have been had this meat going, but get had it seasoned. But my husband is grilling and he hadn't, he's just getting up. So I guess he's starting to grill, but this is the tea. It's the Tazo tea that I use. And today I'm using my, I love my husband mug, but the tea is this, um Tazo organic chai tea. My water is boiled. So I just put that in there. That's enough. Let that sit and then as soon as this finished stirring up, we'll go ahead and do that. Look at this clean this off but see how my milk is foaming up in there this thing was the best thing ever to come out I love this thing to make some delicious um, teas and coffees it should charge people four or five dollars I know one day my sister came over and I offered her a cup of tea no, I offered her a cup of coffee and I made her some coffee and then she called me the next day and said <laughs> she made her some coffee and she just got a little pissed off about it because it was nowhere, it's no way near as delicious as the coffee that I made her. So she had went out and bought her one of these. Um, my son used to use it every morning. Like um, he was an old man have to have his coffee before he went to work it was so cute and I miss him he got his own place now he's a homeowner he's a grown man come on come on come on but anyway takes a minute to do but when it when it's done I can tell you it is very delicious There we go. 
So we'll just, oh, look at there. I need to do my nails today. They are, I used to have um, acrylics on and they got so thin and sensitive. So I took, uh oh, that's a lot. There we go. But that is a perfect chai tea latte. So back to my nails. I took them off because they were so thin. So now I just polish them. And they're cute when they're first, well, they look like booty diggers, kind of. But I'm going to polish them later. <laughs> and then they'll be back. Okay. Got my brisket seasoned with this here. This Lone Star brisket. It's just salt, pepper, and paprika. So you can kind of make it yourself. And then I slid a couple holes in here just took a knife and put a couple holes in there because i am going to insert this garlic in there because i don't know if i told you before but i love garlic my husband is downstairs getting the smoker ready and i'm just getting the meat ready and then we'll show you everything how it looks on the grill when we get there all right keep watching Just brewing a cup of coffee because this is like the trick to a perfect brisket. My husband is downstairs on the green egg. I'm getting ready to wrap that brisket in some foil because after it cooks for so many hours, he wraps it in foil and then put a little coffee in there to um, let it continue going wrapped in the foil with the coffee and that makes the juiciest brisket ever. I'm going to show you when we get down to the grill. Um, but I just wanted to brew his coffee first because he acts like he doesn't know how to make work this coffee maker. But hold on one second. Look at that brisket. Looking good. Looking good. My honey's going to wrap it in this foil and then pour that coffee that I made on it. And then He's mad that he's going to use his beer bottle as a weight. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. This is Chef. Look at there. Looks good. Smells good. Heat's still going pretty good. So we're going to put some fish on there. But he likes to... Um, pretend like he's a chef. I'm so proud of him. Go baby. Fold that foil. Fold that foil baby. Can't nobody fold foil like my man. Look at him. Look at him. Just folding the foil. Hey, <laughs> oh look. I did my nail. Because when I um, showed you guys earlier, they were looking a mess. And I, today is self-care Sunday. So, <laughs> I wasn't taking care of myself. But there it is, nicely wrapped. And then it goes back on here for about another, what, hour or so, babe? Mm -hmm. And that makes the most delicious, tender brisket ever. We a team over here. This is Team Scott. So we, there we go. Brisket on the green egg. He got to let the, it's cooled off some when he opened it up. But it'll get back up and finish simmering. All right. Just wanted to see this meat smoking chef Scott over here. Look at there. Look at this brisket. Oh yeah, we gonna eat good tonight. And I've been doing so good. All I've been doing is seafood. <laughs> but I may cheat a little bit. Actually, he's gonna cook me some fish too. But I may cheat a little bit and taste a little piece of this good old brisket. Guys, I just cut up my potatoes. I peeled them, cut them up, and put them on the stove. And was chit-chatting with you all while not recording. So, sorry. 
But I'm cutting up my onions and bell peppers now and some celery for my potato salad. But I just wanted to ask you guys, this is what I was asking you, is did you see Coming to America yet? How did you like it? Because I'm excited to watch it. I should have been watched it, but I wanted to wait for my husband and he had to work <clears throat> every day. And, and when he was coming home, it was kind of late and I didn't want to watch it too late because um, I know how I am. A movie after seven o'clock really watches me. Um, I don't get to watch it. I won't watch the whole thing. I don't care how good the movie is. I will not stay up and watch it. I just, I just can't. I don't know what's wrong with me. I get, well, I guess I get comfortable. I'm looking kind of ragged today, but I'm just <laughs> preparing, getting ready for um, family later on. And I'm only doing it early because we're cooking, putting a brisket on this um, green egg. And of course that takes some time. And I wanted to do my potato salad now because it tastes better once the flavors soak in. Marinade, I love uh, potato salad after the flavors kind of get in there. So that's why I'm doing stuff now. And then after this, I'm gonna polish my nails because they were not real cute. And that just wasn't ladylike, I don't think. So, but yeah, how did you guys like the movie? Please tell me. And then if you like my videos and, you know, want to join my team, kind of subscribe. I'm, and I would love for you to join me and just, you know, chit-chat with me. And I will, if you comment on my videos, I'll comment back and keep up with you. So, yeah. Just like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me about the movie, what you thought, what your thoughts were. And then after I watch it tonight, I guess I'll kind of tell you my thoughts on it. I heard some good and bad reviews. I mean, I see on Facebook different people saying that it was an awesome movie. And then I see some people saying that it was garbage. I know they're never as good as the first time. <laughs> it seemed like, you know, the first movie is always amazing. But the second one will be good, but maybe not as good. Just tell me what you think. What were your thoughts? We had to get in full character to watch our movie. And we get ready to watch Coming to America. Somebody, everybody's not in full character, but most of us. And then we got our little friend here, enjoying family time. Okay, it is never as good as the first time. The movie was pretty good, but it's not as good as the first one. I know I'm looking crazy, don't pay no attention to me, but after several glasses of this and watching the movie, I had a really good evening with my family. And I want to say thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you.